Oh, it's recording. Hey, yo. Kick it with the team. Show you what you want if you know what you mean. It's a little crooked. Who cares? I don't care. Hey, that's a new shirt. Yeah. I like it. Thanks. Who needs a haircut? I need a haircut. Hey, I'm trying something different. Don't judge me. I'm trying to be creative. It's a new segment. I don't know what to call it yet. Random questions. Think of a name for this segment if you want. I'm going to ask a question, which is probably going to be in the title of this video, and then answer it. Kind of self-explanatory. I don't know why I explain that. Today's question is, why don't eyeballs freeze in cold weather? Right? Think about it. There are people who live in places where it's below freezing. Sometimes way below freezing. And you don't hear many cases about their eyeballs freezing. Even though it's like water exposed to this sub freezing air. So why don't we see more cases of eyeballs freezing? Hila? Is it because we blink? That's if we part didn't of it. blink, your eyes dry up. Good point. I just thought of this right now. I feel like Chanel from Ridiculous. Right <laughs> but she has some really good. <laughs> She's really dumb. She thought an elephant was a mammoth. I don't know what to tell you. She watches it. She's going to hate me now. Shout out to Chanel from Ridiculousness. Thinking about the anatomy of the eye, there's major watery parts all over the place. Two major watery portions. That sounds weird. Gosh. Poop. <sighs> I'm going to be a horrible professor <laughs> if we ever decide to be one. I, I don't care what you think, okay? I'm going with it. <laughs> There's the vitreous humor, which is the larger portion inside your eye. Your eye's a ball, and the larger part of that ball, the inside of that ball is... I'll probably put a picture up or something. Stop looking at me. There's the vitreous humor, which is the larger portion of the inside of the eye. There's the aqueous humor, the part that supports the lens of the eye, which is in a different cavity. Both of these humors, I have to say a pun. I don't see the humor in that. That was good, right? Bazinga! What? Come on. And the aqueous humor, which supports the lens of the eye. These water-filled cavities, it's not water. They're primarily water. Water and other salts and proteins and whatever. Gosh, I'm so bad at this. So what I'm saying is, why doesn't it freeze? Well, there's a lot that goes into answering this question. First off, your eyes are covered almost entirely with warm tissue, okay? Got your brain, got your face, all this covering your eyes, it's warm. So your eyes get warmth from there. That's one part of it. Besides that, warm blood goes into your eyes too. Too, which keeps it warm thanks to the ophthalmic artery. I'll probably put a picture up of that too. The ophthalmic artery. It breaks off into a bunch of smaller arteries that go into the retina and just keeps it all warm in there. Keeps it all nice and cozy even if it's cold outside. If you're a trivia addict like me, then you would know that the only part of the body that isn't supplied nutrients through blood vessels is the cornea. In your eye, it doesn't get warmth from blood vessels and it's literally exposed to the air. It's on the surface of your eye covering the lens. That's your cornea. It's out in the air, gets no blood supply. What? How is it our eyeballs don't freeze in sub-zero degree weather temperature cold stuff? In short, it does freeze. Okay? Only if it's really, really cold though. Here's the thing. Your eyeballs do freeze. You take an eyeball out of someone's body, put it in a freezer, an eyeball will freeze. The thing is, your cornea, Hila, is good at this because you got your tears. You got tears in your eyes. Tears have high salt content. Your cornea, it doesn't get nutrients through blood arteries. It gets nutrients through diffusion because of the tears and the salts that they carry. So the salts in your tears lower the freezing temperature of the outside of your eye. How cool is that? How about it? Ah! Something touches your eye or there's a chemical change, you feel it, so you blink. And then you bring those tears which lower the freezing temperature or take out whatever irritants or disturbance is in your eye. Cool, right? Yeah? The horrifying truth though is, sadly, people's eyes do freeze. Ah! Usually this happens in extreme, extreme cold temperatures, high altitudes, you know the deal. Mount Everest? Like Mount Everest. I thought of this question because one day I was cold at my bus stop. I live in Florida. It was really like 65 degrees. My, my eyeballs weren't going to freeze. Another pun. I thought of another pun. Your eyeballs won't be cryogenically preserved. Cry. Get it? Cry. Ogenic. Bazinga! Ugh. Here's the thing, for your eyeballs and your corneas to freeze, there's a lot else that has to have happened too. In an attempt to maintain your core body temperature, your body diverts blood flow from your limbs to your head and torso. For your eyeballs to freeze, your brain would have to be frozen solid before the warmth surrounding your eyeballs doesn't provide that warmth anymore and your eyeballs freeze. Dude, you would probably be dead. Completely dead. Not even faking it. Totally dead. Before that happens, you'll have a lot more to worry about on your frozen hands. Frostbite is the freezing of water in your skin muscles and whatever. Is this still set? Yes. Hypothermia will kill you. Gangrene, if it infects your frostbite. Fun fact about gangrene, 
Don't you love fun facts about gangrene? You'll smell gangrene before you see it. So sniff yourself if you're cold. If it's ugly, it might be gangrene. So all these things would have probably killed you before your eyeballs freeze. But there's a lot of other interesting things that happen to the body as it gets cold. I mean, metabolic rates slow hugely. Even moving muscles slows down. Digesting food, tell me about it. I mean, if you want to talk about eye-specific problems, if you wear contact lenses, forget about it. They'll freeze on your cornea, which is kind of scary. Your eyelashes could also freeze together. You could freeze your eyes shut, which is also kind of scary. But the way these are generally treated is by applying warmth to it until it unfreezes and it'll recover. Permanent damage is rare. And even though corneal freezing happens, it's extremely uncommon. So if you find your cornea is freezing, put a warm hand on there, wait for it to melt. Your eyelashes shut, just hand. Hope this helps. I'm starting off. Don't hate. I might put pictures up. I might put links in the description if I'm not lazy. So, I mean, if your eyeballs are freezing, there's probably a lot more wrong with you than you think. If you have any questions that you would want me to answer, put them in the comments below. You should probably say that. If you have any questions you want me to answer, put them in the comments below. <laughs> I'm being serious. Subscribe if you've ever been in cold weather. Like this video if you have eyeballs. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry if you don't have eyeballs. That's so bad. What if they don't? I'm saying I'm. S <laughs> um. Well, they really and share this be video with you. share this video with your friends that have corneas. Oh yeah, they wouldn't be watching me. <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> Thanks for watching. Unless they're one of those people.